Hello everyone. In this session, I would like to discuss about what kind of applications we are going to develop in our software industry. So let me open Notepad. These many kinds of applications we can develop. One is like standalone application. The next one is like web application. The next one is like distributed application. And the next one, enterprise application. Now, just I want to define and how it is going to work, I want to explain in this session. So let's start with standalone application. What is the standalone application means? First, you should have to develop one application, one standalone application. You can develop this application by using Java or by using .NET or Python, whatever it is. Okay, just you created one standalone application. How you want me to work with this application means, if you want to work with this application, I have one mission. I have one mission. I want to work with this application. Another person has another mission. Another person has another mission. If you want to work with the standalone application, you should have to install that application in E and F mission. Okay, here also, here also, and here also. If you want to work with standalone application, that particular standalone application you should have to install in each and every mission. For example, 100 missions or 100 members or 100 members want to work with this particular standalone application, you should have to install this application in 100 missions. This is the way my standalone application is going to work. The next one is like web application. Web application. How my web application is going to work means it's like a client and server communication application. Okay, for example, I have this is like a client and this one is like a server. Some extra thing is like a database is there. Database is there. Now, this is my client. And this is my server. And this is my database. Now, my client is going to communicate with the server. We can say like a request. Okay, like what? My server is going to communicate with the client. It's nothing but response. We can say like a response. Here, we can say the web application. Web application is like a client server communication application, we can say. My client here always running inside the browser. Inside the browser. My client application always run inside the browser only. If you want to develop this client application, how you can develop means by using any client set technology, you can use it. Either you can use ReactJS or AngularJS or QJS or Backbone, any one of the technology you can use it. If you want to create the server application, this application, okay, you can use any one of the technology like Java, .NET, PHP, Salesforce, Python, any one of the technology you can use it. So the web application is like a client server communication application. My client is always running inside the browser. This type of application we can say like what? Web applications. The next one we can say like distributed applications. What is distributed application means? Very simple thing. The application which are having multiple clients. Web application you take only one client that is the browser. Here the distributed application working like which are having multiple clients. It is going to communicate with multiple clients. That type of application we can say like a distributed application. Okay, let's take one simple example. You can easily understand. Okay, this is my application. My application, what you know, Access Bank, for example. Access Bank application. Okay, if you want, if you want to connect with this particular application through browser, we can connect it or not. Yes, I can log in. Okay, accessbank.com. Just I open the URL. Okay, I can log in, I can, I, I can check, I can access the services or not, I can check my funds and everything or not through browser, through web, through web browser. I can access this one or not. The next one, the same application I can access through my Android, through my Android app or not. Android app or not. Android app or not. The same application, I can access same application. I can access through iOS also or not. iOS. Okay, it's like iPhone application. iOS application also or not. Now, the same application, for example, that access bank application, I can access through my ATM machines also or not. Why? Because just you are going to insert a code in the type 
he has to read your code and you have the funds or not, you have to check if the funds are there, then only they are going to allow you to withdraw amount or not. That means the same application we can access through your ATM machines or not, or ATM machines. ATM machines or not. The next one, the next one, IVRS, the phone banking, phone banking. I can call, I can call, I can check my balance or not. Where they can check? Somewhere they are going to maintain your balance and everything in your application through application only, right? Database is there. How we can connect through application only or not? Through IVRS also, we can get the information or not. IVRS means interactive voice response system. IVRS. Through IVRS also, we can connect it or not. The next one, swiping missions. Swiping missions. Okay. Just by using swiping missions also, swiping missions also, we can we can connect with your application or not. Now, these all, if you observe, through web, I can log in, I can get some services from your application, I can get the balance. Through Android application also, I can get the balance. Okay, through iOS also, I can get it. Through ATM, I can withdraw the amount. When I can withdraw, if the amount is there, then only, right? That means you have to check it before withdraw amount. Through IVRS, he is also connecting with your application and tell you the bank balance and everything or not. Swiping machines also, you can transfer the funds to another account or not. So if you observe, the application is like only one, has multiple clients or not. Through internet only, we can connect with this application or not. Now, the application which is having, which are having multiple, which are having multiple clients, that application we can say like a distributed application. That application we can say like what? Distributed application. So here, my access bank is like distributed application or not? Distributed application. Generally, distributed applications we are going to develop by using web services, by using web services. So finally, you can conclude my distributed application. Okay, the application which are having multiple clients, that type of application we can say like what? Distributed application or not. Okay, the next one. The next application is like enterprise application. What is this enterprise application means? My enterprise application is like a only web application, only web application or only, or only distributed application distributed application or web plus distributed 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 okay any one of these one is going to work we can say like a enterprise application only web application or only distributed application or it's a combination of what it's like a web plus distributed i want to give one simple example simple example okay let's take i have I want to purchase something through Amazon. Amazon, Amazon or Flipboard. Okay, the e-commerce websites are there, right? I want to purchase some product. Then that's what you have to do. Just you have to open the browser or not. Just you have to open the browser. Okay, once you open the browser, you should have to you should have to type some URL or not. You should have to type some URL, imagine.com. Imagine.com. Okay, once you purchase, once you purchase, okay, once you selected your product, just you click on what? You click on, okay, buy now, buy now button. Once you click on the buy now, it's navigate to some other page, ask for, okay, payment details or not, payment details or not. Now, here it's going to connect with one payment broker, like PayPal or something. PayPal or something. Now, my PayPal is going to take your what? Okay, you entering some card details, right? It's going to check for which type of card, which type of card. It's like a payment gateway. Okay, Visa, Visa card or something. Visa or Master card or Mastro card, Rupee card, like this different, different cards are there or not. Okay, you can say this one like a payment gateway. Okay, once it is done, once it is done, this guy is going to, okay, this VESA card, VESA card, we are going to give to which bank, bank is going to connect. Okay, I will explain, don't worry about that. This is the process, right? Now see this. My browser, 
my browser connect with this application amazon application my browser we can say like what it's like a web it's a web application or not inside the browser which one is going to run that one we can say like what web application or not my browser is like a client and my amazon.com is like what okay server application okay in this case we can say like what if my browser is like a client that type of application we can say like what web application my browser is acting like a client then we can say like a web application so my amazon with respect to this one browser to amazon we can say like a web application or not web application okay perfect now once in this amazon.com amazon.com you enter some information is like code information and everything it's navigate to it's going to connect with what paypal or not payment broker or not whatever the details you enter okay that means it's navigate to your another website or not that means this amazon.com is going to connect with another application or not another application or not so that this particular one amazon.com is going to connect with your paypal it's not like a browser or something okay but he is connecting with this particular application that means what it's a distributed application or not okay client is a browser web application another browser another client is there which is not like a browser okay that one we can say like what distributed application or not distributed application or not so that my amazon is going to connect with the paypal we can say like what this is like a distributed application or not okay so that my paypal is like one one of the distributed application distributed application or not now once it is done my paypal is going to check what type of what type of code you are using based on that particular number and you are going to choose that code type and everything or not now my payment broker is going to connect with your okay payment gateway payment gateway payment gateway is nothing but here he is going to check okay this code is valid or not which type of code all these things so my paypal is going to connect with your what visa or mastro or master application or not now my paypal connect with your visa my paypal is not like a browser or something it's not a web application okay another client okay is nothing but other than web we can say like what distributed only or not so that my visa also connect with another client okay so my visa application also one type of distributed only or not now it's going to check my visa people okay this is the code this is the visa code i given to which bank I given to which bank so that now my visa application is going to connect with your bank people or not bank people or not this is also my bank people also bank also one type of distributed application only or not distributed application only or not now if you observe here see i open the browser okay just i place amazon.com now he is going to select one product he selected one product you can say selected one product okay once you select a product he click on the buy now button by now button now it's navigate to he is connecting with what this web application is going to connect with one more distributed application or not who is that guy payment broker okay inside this distributed application you in you added some information like which type of code and code details and everything now this paypal payment broker is going to connect with your payment gateway application or not visa master master like that now this application is going to connect with your visa now my visa also distributed application only or not now my visa people is going to check like what okay we provided this particular visa code to which bank now he is going to connect with that particular bank or not bank or not so that this is also one more distributed application or not now the total you can if you see this the total flow total flow if you see it's like a web application it's like a web application as well as distributed application also or not it's like combination of what up to here web application okay this is the one distributed application this is one distributed this is one distributed it's a combination of web plus distributed application or not so this type of applications we can say like enterprise applications this type of applications we can say like enterprise applications so these many types of applications we may create we may create by using different different technologies okay thanks guys thanks for watching